That's it, Dennis. And here is your host for today's excitement, Bad Bob Williger. Howdy, 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 folks, folks, folks. Hold on to your seats and grab your hats, because the million dollar jackpot's gonna take you on the roller coaster ride of your life. Two teams will compete, only one will win. Meet the red team, an average American family, Jack Gorlocks and Son. Jack wrestles with alligators in Wacky Willie's Wildlife Carnival, and Jack Jr. repairs chainsaws in his spare time. <gasps> I'm glad I'm not standing near those guys. If somebody out there in the audience can answer this simple question, you and your friends will be our blue team. What is the name of a big woolly creature that lives in Tibet? Yak! That's it. That woolly creature in Tibet is a yak. You and your friends are our blue team. Today's game will be in three stages, and the first team to stack up 100 points wins the million. Take your places for stage one. <laughs> Let's run for it. But we could win a million dollars. We'd never live to spend it. If Jack Jr. can dunk George Wilson, he'll earn 20 points for the red team. You couldn't hit the broad side of a skyscraper. <laughs> That's 20 points for the red team. The Gorlaxes are ahead. I'll help you, Mr. Wilson. Ugh. And 20 special points to the blue team for that terrific counterattack. Stage <laughs> two for 30 points. First man to bike 50 miles per hour wins. <laughs> The red team wins! 30 points for the red team! No wonder you're going so slow, Dad. They got this big metal thing stuck on your bike. No, Dennis! Help! Yikes! Whoa! Yeah, what happened? Help! And that's 30 points for the blue team. Mr. Mitchell was doing a cool 60 when he went through that wall. Weren't you, you crazy guy? Both teams are tied with 50 points each. The first team to answer four questions correctly wins the game. We can't win this game. Those maniacs will tear us limb from limb. Then give the wrong answers to all the questions. For 10 points, name the fossil-based fuel that runs automobiles. Gee, I can't guess. Yes, that's absolutely right. For 10 more points, name the country that was once known as the Ottoman Empire. I really don't know that one. <laughs> Quiet, you turkeys. Turkey, that's absolutely correct. Isn't this exciting, folks? For 10 points, what does the German phrase Wir weisen es nicht mean in English? We, we don't, don't know. know. Absolutely correct! One more question, and you win the million dollars! <laughs> Yay! Okay, Dennis, our final question is for 20 points and a million dollars. What is the sum total of 16 times 22? Hey, Dad! Mr. Wilson, what's 16 times 22? 351? 352! You just missed it, Mr. Mitchell! No one wins the million! After all that, we don't win nothing? Don't feel bad, Dennis. You've been a great contestant, and our studio audience has never had more fun, right, folks? So we're going to ask you and your friends back for next week's show. You'll compete against the Gorlocks for two million dollars! Oh, no! Wait for me! <laughs> Remind me never to watch another game show in my life! <laughs> Help!
future. And in 3D. This will make 16 times. We know every line, every scene. Even the scary ones where I hide under my feet. Let's go. One admission for... Whoa! Excuses, mister. We can't miss the beginning. Three for submarine of the future. Hurry up! Well, if it's that urgent, maybe I should see this film, too. You know, I used to be in the Navy. I'd like a regular popcorn and a large cherry cola. Whoa! Whoa! Excuse us again, mister. We can't miss the beginning. Three popcorns, three sodas. And one box of those candies that stick in your teeth. Yeah, make it two of those. Whoa! I know, I know. You can't miss the beginning. You're excused. <laughs> wow! Wow! That was great! Yeah, 3D is incredible! Joey, the submarine is up. It's okay. I like it down here. Dennis, does a submarine cost a lot? At least 11 to 70 trillion dollars. Yeah, at least. Bad time for the captain to be ill. Especially when our enemies are surrounding us. We'll need a replacement. Hey, this never happened before. There, he'll do. Get him. Did you see that? Whoa! I knew 3D was realistic, but this is ridiculous! Wow, what happened? You've seen this film many times, Dennis. We're counting on you to defeat the enemy. But I don't know how to drive a submarine. I don't even know how much a submarine costs. At least 11 to 70 jillion dollars. Wow, you know I always thought that. You'll have complete control of the ship, Captain Dennis. But first, you better do something about that. Like that eye, but oh, never mind, sir. Giant squid at twelve o'clock, sir. I think I'm getting undersea sick. If the ship sinks much lower, she'll blow her gaskets. Hey, I remember this. It's the electromag... The electro... It's the shock button. But he can't take it. You did it. You saved the sub. Quick, man the periscope. All right. I remember how to do that.
Well, what do you see? Looks like a guy in a rubber suit. I don't remember this. And he's putting some white stuff on the side of the submarine. Those are explosives. He's going to blow up the sub. <laughs> Are you a good swimmer, Captain? Pretty good. Why? Because you'll have to defuse the explosives and capture that diver. <laughs> Couldn't I just be the cook instead of the captain? <laughs> Whoa! each other a couple of times. Whoa! Hey, wait! <laughs> Good luck, sir. Remember, if the enemy escapes and tells his fleet of our position, we'll be finished. Have you any further questions? Just one. Do I need to use turn signals underwater? Mitchell, your bravery saved this ship from enemies. You fulfilled the responsibility of a captain. Thank you. I did what I had to do. I award you with a highest citation for bravery in the face of danger. Wow! Hey! The prisoner's escaping! Get him! I'll get him! Dennis, they already got him! Huh? What? Did you guys see me? I was in the picture! Yeah, 3D sure is neat. No! I was the captain! And there was this giant squid! And a frogman! Huh? I probably just spilled my soda. Unless... Wow! Tommy, Joey, look at this! Huh? What? Oh, the movie's over. Couldn't be. <laughs> Lie down, I'm mobile. I'll cut some hair today. Good morning, Cavallini. Why, Mr. Mayor, I'm honored to have you in my humble shop. 
Yes, I imagine you must be. My regular barber is out sick, and I want to look my best for a photo session today. Never fear, Mr. Mayor. You're about to get a haircut you'll never forget. Hi, Mr. Cavallini. Can I talk to you? I haven't time now, Dennis. Wait, Cavallini. Children are the voters of the future. Personally, I'd like to hear what he has to say. No, you wouldn't. Thanks, mister. I'm putting up these posters for city cleanup week. Can I hang one on your wall? No, you can't. Now, please, buzz off. Just a minute, Cavallini. City Cleanup Week is my very own pet project. Oh, that's City Cleanup Week. That's my favorite, too. <laughs> Hang them anywhere you want, Dennis. Gee, thanks, Mr. Cavallini. And don't worry, I'll be real quiet. Please try. I must concentrate on cutting the mayor's hair. Gosh, are you really the mayor? I certainly am. How come you don't cut your own hair? To cut my own hair? Sure. My dad says you're great at trimming the public. Oh, boy, I'll tell you that, boy, sometimes. You still want to hear what he has to say? Where should I hang it, Mr. Cavallini? Anywhere. Just don't make a lot of nail holes like you did last time. Don't worry. This time I brought glue. Now, let's see. Where's a good spot for it? Right there. That'll be perfect. Well, what's that you're putting on? Just some stick'em to keep your hair in place. Something's wrong with your wall. The poster won't stick to it. No wonder. This is hair tonic. That means what you're putting on the mayor's head must be... Hello. <laughs> My hands, they're stuck. Here, Mr. Cavallini, I'll help you. What in blazes is going on here? Now, wait, don't touch your hair. What the? They're stuck. I tried to warn you. What in blazes are you doing? Trying to get my other hand out. I know something that might work. We learned about it in school. It's called centrifugal force. Don't you mean centrifugal? No, we didn't study that yet. Hang on, Mr. Mayor. What happened? It worked. Your hands are no longer stuck to your scalp. That's nice. <laughs> On second thought, maybe I had to put the poster up there, where everyone can see it. <laughs> Oof! Whoa, 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 whoa. What, are you, what are you doing? This will just take a minute. Ha, uh ha, -huh, ha, uh ha, -huh. ha. Help! Get me down! Whoa! Ah, Sue! Now look what you've done. There's talcum powder everywhere. Don't worry, Mr. Cavallini. This vacuum cleaner will get it all up. No, Dennis, it's a. Uh... Leather machine. Look at me. I look like a whipped cream someday. Smart move, Mr. Mayor. Now you're sure to get the youth vote. I'll go tell the photographer you're ready for those pictures. And Mr. Cavallini, you really ought to do something about neatening up this place. Remember, it's city cleanup week. 